Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. Uh, welcome to our first coffee house of the year. Yay. I'm Will, for, for those of you who don't know. I'm Alec, for those of you who don't know. And uh, for the past 10 weeks, we've been teaching your kids about comedy. Before we uh, get too far, let's everyone take out their cell phones. And remember to put them on the side, please, because cell phones aren't particularly fun. Um, yeah, so should we just press my phone? Yes. Yes. So, for the past seven weeks, we've been uh, teaching your kids about comedy, and it's been pretty good, except for the fact that Alec and I both realized that neither of us are funny. <laughs> so, uh, we need a little bit of help. Uh, we need a little bit of help, so uh, we got um, two comedy experts, these two um, really great uh, Valbillion guys um, that are going to come out and uh, talk a little about our work for the past 10 weeks. So, ladies and gentlemen, Reginald and Wilberforce. <laughs> Right. Well, perhaps we should move on, maybe, to the reason 
okay, yeah, you are mm, funny, funny children. Ah, oh, yeah, of course. Oh, okay, yeah, so we're good children. Okay, so for the last ten weeks, or what we have decided to dub our sunset years, <laughs> we have been attempting to make your children funny. <laughs> now, we taught them, pardon me a moment, <laughs> we taught them from 1 to 2.30 and from 3 until 5, or as some of you called it, 4 o'clock until Monday. <laughs> they were very funny, very clever and capable and very well behaved. Yeah. By the end of it, there we are. Much better. Yes, the road was a bit rough at the beginning, as they say, and laden with enormous piles of unfunny manure. <laughs> Watching your children attempt comedy at the beginning was much like trying to watch a man with his with wheels on his hands and feet attempt to climb the Empire State Building. <laughs> or the dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> or like watching Mitt Romney try to run for president. <laughs> <laughs> and when your children made us laugh for the first time, it was like finding out that Ohio's electoral votes were safely in the hands of our president. Joy, but mostly an overwhelming sense of relief. <laughs> so we began by teaching them the fundamental rules of comedy. Mm. Timing and lists of three. <laughs> <laughs> and beats, yes, of course, and acting beats. Yes, beats, beats actually were a particularly difficult lesson for these classes, so eventually, to illustrate our point, we simply began literally beating them. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> After we turned all their bones into funny bones, they became much funnier. <laughs> it looked like tell a joke and cringe, tell a joke and cringe. And we would laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. And if you don't eat your meat, you can't have any pudding. You can't have any pudding if you don't eat your meat. <laughs> Dreadfully sorry, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> <clears throat> now, you will always remember each of your children with great fondness. We are proud to say that today, most of them are not entirely intolerable, <laughs> and many of them may grow up to one day be mildly <laughs> amusing at parties. <laughs> children, we'd like to thank you for all of your work for the past ten weeks, and it is time now that Reginald and I finally retire back to our home on the funny farm. <laughs> so, it is with great mm. undertaking mm. that we finally present to you your frickin' children. <laughs> Amber Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>